Hi, I'm Thomas with Believe in the Run. This is Robbie with Believe in the Run. And you're watching Between, Between Two Shoes. <laughs> we'll get it right someday. Yeah, one of these days. So today we got two interesting shoes, and usually we do road shoes, but today we have uh, two trail shoes. Two trail shoes with bow closure. Which is kind of why we decided to do the comparison, because there are quite obvious similarities between the two and some differences for sure. Can we start with the price? Yeah. What's we, the cost of the La well. Sportiva shoe? So this is the La Sportiva Cyclone, or Cyclonic, is depending how you say it, it's C-Y-K-L-O-N. And this is $160, has a single bow closure. This is the Speedland SLPDX, comes in at $375. Quite the high end of shoes, the highest end I think we've come across as far as running shoes. We can start talking about the Cyclone. Go okay, to this. let's do it. So this is obviously more of a, I don't know, not a mid shoe kind of, it has a built in gaiter system here. So when you cinch down the boa, this goes around your ankle really nicely, you know. Keeps prevent, out the trash. Yeah, keeps out dirt and loose stones for the most part. Again, single boa closure. They have three fingers on here. They call it the dynamic cage. And uh, so you push down, tighten it, tightens throughout. Uh, and then to loosen it, you pop it out. Of course, it loosens the whole thing that way. And then you have to retighten it to where you want it. Seven millimeter lugs on the uh, on the outsole. Very aggressive. Yeah, it seems pretty substantial. Those look like teeth. Yeah, they're gnarly. Foam on this does not feel too forgiving. Yeah, it's like a EVA of some sort. It's not terrible. It but feels pretty firm. Yeah, I mean, I, I liked it. I like the ride of it. We'll talk about the SLPDX. Another BOA system. This is called the BOA LI2 fit system. It's their most advanced dialing system in that you can do micro incremental changes forward and back. And that's Very not nice. on this shoe. Right, so this BOA is like the more traditional BOA. It's bigger knob. Uh, these are more slimmed down on the SLPDX. This, you can only tighten in one direction, and then when you pop, you it, open, pop it open, it loosens the whole thing. That was really, that's one thing I really loved about the SLPDX was that you could do those micro incremental changes. The fibers on the lacing here are made as integrated with Dyneema, uh, which is like this super strong material. Super strong. We're starting to see that in some of these trail shoes. Parts of the upper right here are made of Dyneema as well, so for extra uh, durability. If we're gonna do apples to apples comparisons here, the SLPDX fit, in my opinion, is great. Not only is it great, I think it's the best fit I've ever had in any shoe? Any shoe, probably. It seems like a lofty claim, but, and you'll see that, we've heard that from a lot of Speedland users or seen that out there uh, from people who've tried it. I do feel I would agree with Robbie on this one. The SLPDX fit is unrivaled. I, it, when you're on the trail and you're running along, yeah. there's no movement in the shoe. The shoe is attached to your foot. It's it's a very, it builds a lot of confidence. Yeah, the really nice thing about that was that when you're going down hills in a lot of trail shoes, you know, you tighten your shoe, but you still have some sliding even, especially going down hills. But here, the amazing thing is like, you can just lock it right in. And if you're like me, you're not like moving. when I first put it on, I was, I think I was a little afraid to crank it down too tight. You know, once you got going, you're like, let me just see. And you keep cranking it down, keep cranking it down. And you can get like a really yeah. scuba dive style <laughs> yeah. fit. And it's, it's nice because if you want to loosen it, like I said, with this, dual dial dual uh direction dial you can really if you just wanted a tiny smidge you can do that on the go super quick uh so if you're about to head down a big down descent you can tighten it down when you're you know loosen it back up when you're done and literally like just reach down and spin like i was surprised how much i loved it so they have a similar uh wrap system, there's this called the uh, Perform Fit Wrap. It's a lot different from the La Sportiva in that you do get a good lockdown up here, but you don't get that four foot lockdown. You it's don't get just, that custom midway yeah, kind of Yeah, like fit. it's nice for sure, but you just, it's impossible because the tension, it just pulls it up, uh, whereas yeah. you just don't get that lockdown. On What's kind of interesting is why wouldn't they just move the, like uh, kind of like in the middle, so it's locking that way and locking that yeah, way. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a catch-22 because you yeah. gotta get that, that structure around the top of the foot. I'm gonna give a point to Speedland for sure in that department. And what about the cushioning? It's a decent cushion. I think I did like 14 miles in this on the trails and 
like felt pretty good throughout. One of the runs I did, I think the first run I did in this shoe was a 22 mile road and trail run. So, mm -hmm. Down to Ellicott so, City. Yeah, so <laughs> just like, it was pretty gnarly. Uh, it was a lot of roads actually. And on roads, it's like fairly firm. I actually took out the carbon plate in this. So it comes in a sandwich form, the midsole of this. So you've got a PBAX layer, a plate, and an EVA layer all sandwiched in there. Mm -hmm. I was gonna show it to you here. So the reason you can do that is because of this Michelin rubber that is basically moccasined into the shoe. So you can stuff the shoe with whatever you want because the outsole it's like a wrap. It's like a yeah. canoe kind of. It also gives it some structure for, you know, protection against rocks yeah. and debris and stuff on the side. Now I will say with that outsole design, you, it does have drainage ports you can clip here and I would clip those immediately because- Even if you're running on dry stuff. <laughs> yeah, because when you do get water in these, it just, it's hard to get out because of cup. the cup type situation. Now, like I said, the carbon plate is like really easy. You just turn it, pull it out. And this is a Carbotex plate, so it's, asymmetrical flex, so it's really flexible in one direction and then not that not flexible, flexible in, the in this other. direction. Kind of interesting because that means if you're running on trails and you hit a rock, the shoe will bend with the impact, not cause a, like a stiff plate. To be honest, I didn't feel the plate like that much through the PBAX midsole. You know, some carbon plates you get like a crazy toe off type feel. I actually took it out for a road run, which was nice. I like the softer feel for it. I ran with one side had the plate, the other oh, side yeah. didn't, just to see how that felt. Yeah. And I could tell the difference. I could feel the difference on the trails. Just a little bit snappier, but it wasn't enough that I would like really want to run without, like purposely run without the plate. Yeah. It's nice for race day, uh, which by the way, I think this does make a great race shoe. It's around the, in the 10 ounce range. It's not the lightest, but it's for what you get in the lockdown feel and everything yeah. else. With the nice fitting upper, it does make the bottom feel less heavy. So obviously this doesn't have a carbon plate or anything removable. It's pretty straightforward as far as the midsole structure. I'd say that's more of like your traditional shoe that just happens to have a boa closure. Yeah, exactly. And of course you have this like gator system. Yeah. And I do like a, a higher top. The Speedland comes with six millimeter lugs, but you can also clip them down if you wish. Uh, that's kind of one of their things is like modifying the shoe. The grip is very good on this. In my opinion, I felt like the grip was stronger on the Sportiva. I don't know, like if you're running buffed out trails though, that are like really smooth, do you need that? Uh, no, for sure, yeah. no, definitely not. If you're going straight technical, like crazy terrain, uh, I mean, the last Sportiva, this, is one of the better outsoles like of any trail shoe that I've had. In terms of durability, I, I can't say I think this will last a long time. Taylor, our trail reviewer, took this shoe for like running and camping around. He's out for like 24 hours doing something <laughs> and in Colorado and he was like, there like, was no wear on it. The Michelin outsole on this is a little softer. I, I know I was running roads, but I did get some like wear down uh, after 20 miles on those lugs. So if I had to pick two sh between the two, Straight up, not considering cost, I'm going to the Speedland because I think it is more versatile. You can use it. If just on performance. Strictly performance, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm going Speedland. I like the versatility of it. The The fit of the upper is like nothing I've ever experienced. So I just love that feeling for sure. Um, that's almost worth it alone, to be honest with you, because it is the only shoe that has the, the two dials that uh, and people freak out about it when they try it. If you are like, if looking, also looking for something super technical, then Cyclone is a great shoe as well. It's, it's, it is, it's a hard decision, um, but I think overall, as far as performance, I'm going with the SLPDX. So I know it's twice the, over twice the cost of it, but you know, there's only 1200 of these made too, so. All right, all awesome. So between two shoes, in this particular case, between the La Sportiva and the Speedland, Speedland SP SLPDX. S I can never get all these letters. Sorry, it's a lot of consonants. Yeah, I know it's just really easy to be like it's. Uh, you give me the. Oh, I can't even remember. Okay, what? I know it's. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's easy to remember because it's Speedland, Portland. Portland. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's all right. No one. Yeah. Anyways, all right. Well, that's between two shoes. Thanks for watching.